Hi everyone, welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today we are discussing the Kier Weiss, the quadrants that have just released. And of course, I gotta do a little plug to my What's New video series. Something that I do here every single month, I sort of break down all the new releases that are live on the website, um, new brands that are soon to come, gift of purchases, a lot of fun stuff, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. So some of you might already be privy to their existence, and I know a lot of you were just as excited about them as I am. So what's really great about these Care With The Quadrants, if you know nothing about them, they are four pan eyeshadow quads um, featured in one little palette here like this um, that feature four of the already existing Cure Weiss eyeshadow shades. Now if you know nothing about the Cure Weiss eyeshadows, I've swatched all of them. I'm a big fan of their formula. They sell them individually, typically like this. I have all of them, use them regularly, and they have some of the most wearable, easy to blend, universally flattering shades. And I truly truly believe that. You can see Earthy Calm here is one of my favorite dark browns ever. And this is not only a really great travel friendly option, but it is an incredible way to try the line if you have not yet in a much more cost effective, uh, it's a much more cost effective means of doing so as well. So I am just here for it in general, featuring some of their best selling shades. So let's just jump right into it. Oh, and briefly before I do, excuse my voice, I'm having some serious sinus issues happening. Bear with your girl. So the Cure Weiss Eyeshadow Quadrants currently exist in two shades, featuring four shades apiece, like I said. They will be sold just in refill form. So it's just gonna be this little part that's living inside my red packaging here for $36. We do have two different shades. So the first shade is going to be the Wanderer. And inside the Wanderer, we have the shade Angelic. Angelic's a really beautiful pale pink that I have all over my eyelid here today. I'll sort of break down what I'm wearing here in a few. Then we have the shade Grace. Then we have the shade Wisdom. Wisdom is sort of like a purpley taupe. And the shade Charmed, which is a really beautiful beige. Um, and I love all of these. This is a much more subdued, a little bit more everyday, natural, fuss-free, but still going to give the eyes a little bit of definition. That is what the Wanderer's for. And then we have its more smoky companion, which is Spellbound. And inside Spellbound, we have Divine, which is like an almost black shade. It's really quite rich. Then we have the shade Earthy Calm. Like I said, a beautiful dark brown, one of my all-time favorites. We have the shade Magnetic, which is also a more warm tone brown, but not too warm. It's a little bit more neutral. It's really good for putting in the crease. And then we have the shade Cloud9, and Cloud9 has a little bit of a sheen to it, and it's that sort of bone, sort of white shade. I have it on my brow bone and inner corner here. It's not overly stark and too difficult to use, but it will add a little bit of brightness to the eyes, which I love as well. So like I said, they're sold on their own in those little refills for $36. You could do that, pop that in a Z palette, much like I have right here. I'll have these down below if you choose. Other than that, we have two different packaging options. So if you didn't catch my what's new video as well, I sort of broke down new packaging options offered from Cure Weiss that again make it a little bit more cost effective. So the first of which is going to be the traditional iconic packaging, which is the silver packaging here. I don't have the exact packaging for the quadrants. I am just using this for show. It's going to be very similar to this, just smaller to fit that pan. Um, however, that is $20. It swivels, it's heavy, it's beautiful, it's well crafted. 20 bucks for that, but again, maybe not the most cost effective option as well as maybe not the most travel friendly option just because it is significantly heavier and it's beautiful time place i love it and then um in contrast we have the red packaging which is the new packaging option that is at a lesser price point it's 100 percent recyclable packaging as well and it's just a lightweight but sturdy cardboard it is still magnetized featuring a little something like that so you can see. Um, and it's great, very, very lightweight, easy to take with you on the go. I am a big fan of it actually. So this is $5 and the iconic packaging is 20. So it's totally up to you, personal preference, both options are offered. However, when you are on the website, you're gonna see you're gonna buy the refill in one sort of, um, 
one skew is going to be the refill and I'll sort of put a visual aid up here and then you will have your packaging options that will be like a click down link so it will compare with every product that is compatible with so you're going to click the red packaging click the drop down and then click the quadrant and then you'll come together and pop it right in I hope that makes sense Hope you're following me here. Now let's just get into the formulas and everything like that. So like I said, the formulas are no different. The shades are no different. I do hope that's something that we can see down the line. But as a lover of Cure Weiss already, I think this is a really smart option because they have such great staple shades as is. Why not make it a little bit easier to take with you and a little bit easier to get people to try the line? You know, I'm totally here for it. So like I said, um, we already discussed the shades. Let's sort of discuss what I have on my eyes here so I could just speak to the blendability of these shadows. That's really my favorite thing about them. They're not overly pigmented, but they are not um, like dry and pigmentless either. They're just approachable and easy to use. And I think that there's a time and place for this, no matter you're someone like me who really likes to play up the eyes and more is more, and I could blend basically any shadow I feel like I'm well versed in the eyeshadow blending game, or whether you're just looking for an easy everyday companion that's not gonna give you a lot of stress, you don't have to think about it too hard. That's what I like about both of these. So I already said the Wanderer is going to be your just a little bit more subtle everyday option. And then we have Spellbound, which is your little bit more smoky option. But I'm using a combination of the two today to create this look that's a little bit of both. We've got the contrast where we need it to, use the Divine Dark Shade as a little bit of a faux liner, lots of mascaras, and we're mascaras. Just a lots of, lots of mascara, and we're good to go. So I did start off my eye look today with the shade Charmed, which is from the Wanderer palette. Charmed is that beautiful beige tone. And this actually is a lot more pigmented than you'd think it would be. It's a really great shade to start off essentially any eyeshadow look you could think of. It just sort of maps everything out, sort of very lightly. It's almost like you're drawing something out in pencil before you go in over with marker or paint, if you know what I mean. Um, anyways, then I went ahead and kicked that up a notch with the Spellbound. I went in with Magnetic. Magnetic's that really great neutral brown shade that's not the deepest in the palette by any means, but it's just sort of one step above. And I sort of went in again with my same Delium Tool 785 brush and just went right over that just to give it a little extra something something. Then finally to deepen it up I did go in with Earthy Calm. I went with a little bit of a more pointed brush, just the Delium Tool 781. Took it a little bit towards the root of the lash here and took it out. I do my eyeshadow in a very similar way all the time. I just know what works for my face, flattering for my more hooded eyes. I pull everything out this way. That way it's noticeable when I'm looking head on here on camera and then you are also noticing when I look down. It was just so painless to blend you guys. That is the best part. Like, look at this. I didn't spend all day doing that. They just naturally blend very easily together. And I didn't spend a ton of time building up the product. Because if I wanted a more smoky eye, you absolutely can do that. That's what I love about these. They're very, very buildable and blendable. What a beautiful marriage. Um, but I just did a really light dusting where you could sort of see we have a light to dark definition in that cat shape that I like so much. Um, then I went ahead in with Angelic. Angelic is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades ever. It is this pale pink, but it doesn't read super bright, stark pink. And I just took this with a Delium Tool 778. Again, because they're not overly pigmented, it doesn't make this shade daunting to use. You're not gonna like go over everything you already did once you use this on, but the pink is so incredibly brightening. It's so universally flattering as well. It just gives a little something something, and that pink, ever so slightly more cool tone is a really nice contrast to those sort of more warm brown shades that we were using in the crease. Then to finish everything off, I went in with a little bit of Cloud9, took Cloud9 on my Antonym number 10 brush, popped it in the inner corner on the brow, boom, and then I finished everything off with this Divine shade, and Divine is that really almost black shade, Gressa angled brush, and used it as a faux liner. Now what's great about that is I have it in a very natural way today, but that could be amplified so much to create a really 
full-on smoky eye look and I really just love the versatility versatility of these shadows I love how easy they are to use and I wanted to show you exactly how easy they are to blend so that's really all I've got to say nothing too new to report here because they are an existing formulation that I love if you want my in-depth review on these because the formulation is exactly the same they swatch beautifully what I do love is these look a little bit um, you get a little nervous, you're like, I'm not gonna be able to fit my brush in there, but I had no problems at all. There was no mixing of the colors, mixing in the pans. Cure White shadows have like zero fallout, especially in this um, sort of shared pan formulation, which I love, um, but yet they still are very blendable and still are giving pigment on the eyes, which I love as well. So these are a great one. If you've not tried Cure White's eyeshadows, run and do it. If you love them already and you were like, I wish I just had something I could take with me, that's the answer for that as well. Just good things all around. Um, so I hope that this was brief to the point. I will have swatches down below so you could check these out. Cure Weiss actually did some amazing photos, so I will include those down below as well as my own personal ones, just to sort of help you all out. So that's it. I really hope that you all found this video helpful. I hope that you're excited about this new release the same way that I am. Cure Weiss is one of the greatest. I also took this time to share with you the red packaging. That is not available exclusively for the Quadrant, so make sure to take a little browse on the website if you're curious with anything else about Cure Weiss. I reviewed everything in their lineup, so I will have some more helpful videos down below for you as well, but please do give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, any questions, comments, concerns, ways that I can help you, definitely do not hesitate to reach out. I thank you all so much for the constant love, love and support, seriously, I do, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!